My name is Diala Hawila. I come from a village in Lebanon. It's a lot of green, clean air, nice nature. So while growing up, I always had a passion for the environment. I first heard about the Master Initiative back in 2007. It was being built 23 kilometers outside of Abu Dhabi. And out here in the desert, we have one of the most extreme climates in the world. And so for me, it was exciting to come to a country at a time when they are focusing their efforts on renewable energy. In 2006, the wise leadership of Abu Dhabi have established Masdar as a company that would be basically championing the uh, sustainability agenda of Abu Dhabi. The purpose was to create a model on how sustainable urban growth should look like in the future, not only for Abu Dhabi and the UAE, but for the whole world. Basically gathering all the technologies existed around the world to push that sustainability agenda forward. Mustar City is in size, it's a six square kilometer that meant to be hosting 40,000 people once it's fully built. The main vision is creating a sort of an ecosystem that can continuously work on finding out what future technologies require in order to create a decent life and improve the quality for people who would be living in such complete sustainable communities. By the time I went to what was then Mustard Institute to do my master's, it was just a block of a few buildings with nothing around us. But still it was very exciting for the students who were living there because it was a living laboratory. So the whole initiative is to design it in a way that makes the citizens comfortable while being sustainable, while reducing the consumption of energy and water and also reducing waste. Living in Mustard City was like a dream come true. So the city has changed a lot since I was a student and now I'm working in the International Renewable Energy Agency. I actually joined Woods Baggett to lead the design of the IRENA headquarters. So for me, it was a real privilege. Our ethos is people architecture. We follow an empathetic design approach where the values of design and the values of the users are one and the same. We also place sustainability, the very core in terms of everything that we do. One thing we're not short of in this part of the world is daylight, but it's how you control and use that daylight and also the trade-off with energy use. So there's a lot of complex modeling that went in to really optimize this building and make it what it is today. To us, it was important that the architectural language wasn't perceived to be something that was imported. We wanted it to be something that was of the place as well, that resonated with the context. In terms of the form of the building, it's developed on an equilateral triangle. So three very efficient floor plates centered around a fantastic seven-story atrium. One of the real special places in the building for me is the staircases. At the intersection of the three triangular floor plates, we have these feature stairs. And for us, it was about really trying to communicate the importance of wellness and that human experience. The arena building is designed and done in a way that is very comfortable for the users. It has a lot of technology. It is a smart building. There's a lot of light, there's a lot of space. The air that is clean keeps on getting renewed. It's a low energy building. It uses around 42% less energy than a comparable building. It also uses about 50% of the water demand. In this part of the world, water is a very precious commodity. The ARENA headquarters realizes the challenge of developing a highly sustainable, commercially viable, exemplar office headquarters building in the challenging climate of the UAE. What I love about this place is that you never stop learning. Every project creates a new challenge and we're always trying to improve, striving to attain that next level. So I'm very excited about the next chapter in our journey with Mazda. Arena HQ is going through a phase where we will be developing all the areas around it to get into place the idea of the people-centric approach, the idea that this is a walkable city. The different types of buildings will come together, creating compact walkways, compact streets, allow the buildings to protect and create a shaded spaces to allow people to connect from the Arena HQ to other parts of Mazda City. In every new development, we continue this theme of building a place for people. Sustainable design and green building practice is very, very important. We have to make sure that sustainable design embraces the commercial world of development. 
and also vice versa. And only in this way are we able to globally combat the negative effects of climate change. And as architects, we have a responsibility to create a resilient legacy. We have to ensure that everything we're doing, everything we're designing has a social conscience.